right in front of the penis or the belly button of a girl or two fingers behind the last rib. So the more up front you put the tuck up, the shorter the dog looks. You put the tuck up where naturally you would naturally put it, the longer the dog looks. So you want to make sure it's always in front of the penis, the highest point of the undercarriage. Then I can take my thinners and all this stuff I don't like, I can start taking it off. This hard line, the left hand again. What time is it? 101. 101? 111. 111. Somebody's got to play that number. <laughs> <laughs> you are so nice. So now the back. We got the shortest point of the body, or the undercarriage, which is right over here. I want to even make it shorter. And then from the shortest point to the leg, I wanna, can everybody see on this side? I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch to this side. I grab the curve, especially if you have like a super curve like this, which is great. Mm -hmm. well, hey, you yeah, you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you just mind. use the shape shape of the curve without cutting the the, the yes. hoo ha. And there, that gives you. Pretty much roughly kind of the shape you want to go. Same with the back leg as you did with the front. You want to comb everything down and you want to pinch, pinch to the nail. Anything that sticks past the pad, take it off. And then here's where. There's really not much to do besides rounding the, uh, the foot on the bottom. This goes down. This goes up. So I'm going to comb this up. Does it damage the scissors, the spray? No. Huh? It does that. It doesn't damage the scissors, the spray? No. Oh, okay. All right, if your coat is wet, really wet, it could damage it if you're doing like hard cuts. Uh, but if it's not wet, it's not going to damage the scissors. But you see how everything laid flat after I sprayed that? So it takes the static out, weighs the air down for you. It's a little bit more manageable. Now I got a nice flush finish when I look at the legs coming out. And then I can finish styling the leg. I can do the front of the leg with chunkers just to take the tip off. Chunkers or thinners. It shouldn't be like a, it shouldn't be tailored. Schnauzer shouldn't be a tailored dog on the legs. Just the jacket and face should look tight, clean. Everything else should be a little rough. Now I can create a flare on the back. 
Tá. So the hairspray allows me to manage the hair without losing the whole. See how I'm able to comb through it without losing the whole. Chunkers don't work. Okay. You can always flip them. I'm not saying mine don't work. But if, especially with this part, you can flip them opposite direction. That's kind of the cheat code. And you can and take them. Or if they work, you can use them the way they're supposed to go. So if any of you guys have those chunkers that are sitting in the graveyard, flip them. I know we all have a pair. And that don't work. Um, and then these photos that we're seeing on Facebook is, is making us believe that it's real or that we can do it or we can't do it. Uh, so I'm going to start out by saying that, that what you're seeing on Facebook is a four or five hour group and it's Photoshop. <laughs> There's very few out there that aren't Photoshop and are real, and you can tell. If you pay attention, you can tell. Nowadays, people are really good at hiding that. So I want everybody to understand that when we're looking at a picture and we have a dog, doesn't necessarily mean that dog is going to look the same, even if we do exactly what we're supposed to do. So we have to know what dogs are good and what dogs are just not good for it. Uh, some Labradoodles, I see people trying, and they come out horrendous. We've done it, I've done it before, and I'm like, whoa, never again. So I had to I had to figure it out. And those who were my students, like that was like my bread and butter on figuring out what really is gonna make this happen. How am I gonna figure out how to always execute the same thing and figure it out? And when you were going to school, that's when it was like yeah, it was just kind of like a, it was popular, but it wasn't like, people just weren't crazy about it. It's a complete different style. We're not used to it. it contradicts everything. As you can tell, his beard is gold. <laughs> so um, I want you guys to understand your, your face and structure of your face determines the, the, the style of the dog. So everybody thinks so you shape the cheek. You don't shave the cheek, or that's what you have to do to do the Asian. The only time you shave a cheek is if the ear covers the cheek. If the ear does not cover the cheek, and your face looks funny, don't come crying to me. And the only reason to shave the cheek is when the ears are covering the cheek. So always remember that. The longer the muzzle, the worse the result. Mm -hmm. The shorter the muzzle, the better. The smaller the eyes, the worse. The bigger the eyes, the better. So what is Asian and what's the point behind there, right? Where's the influence come from? Well, anime. Mm -hmm. So anime, what do we think of with anime? Big eyes, big eyes, bright, eyes, big eyes, bright <laughs> colors, bows, and all kinds of Sharp crazy eyes. stuff they got in their hair. And bigger hair, too. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and most importantly, fake. Yeah. It's got to look fake. So if your eyes are big, if your muzzles like, if you have a German Shepherd <laughs> mix of the hair, don't don't attempt it. Don't try it. Uh, how to practice and on what dogs to practice on? 
Whoever follows me on Facebook, I just put one up a couple weeks ago of a really matted dog. That's your best chance to practice this haircut because the client pretty much has no choice. <laughs> and they definitely don't want the dog's face shaved. Uh, so that's the best time to practice. That way if you mess up, oh well. Right? Doesn't matter. They had no option, so it doesn't matter. You have matted dogs. If you're gonna brush anything out on the matted dog, it should be just a little bit of the face, and that's how we practice. That's how I was able to practice when I was in school. Those people were paying like 25 bucks, and really it didn't matter. So I just came out and said, "Hey, I'm gonna try this on your dog." Uh, but the way I did it made a big difference. So I couldn't just come up and say, "Oh, there's this style I want to try," and eh. They're going to say no. They're not going to be open to it. But if you come out, you're excited. Hey, yeah, oh my God. Like, I, it might not come out good, but <laughs> I can try it. You know, let me try it. And they're usually susceptible to you giving it a shot. I just tell them hair grows back. Yeah, hair is growing. This hair, it'll grow back, which usually never really works. They kind of just give you that, like, shrug. Yeah. So um, that's the best. That's the best way to practice. Your matted dogs, your really short, short faces that you don't want to chop all that hair off, and it's got such a pretty face, but they only come in twice a year. Those are the ones. So keep that in mind. Don't try to find the perfect candidate. And if you do have a perfect candidate, grow it out into it. So change the haircut. Excite the client. Tell the client it might look for the next three weeks, you know, but once this hair grows out, it's going to be awesome. And you have to convince them. You have to make them feel like you are the best groomer on the planet. <laughs> Period. Yeah. It's the only way to go. You can create lawn more haircuts and still get away with making that client believe you are the best. As long as you treat their dog proper and you stay ethical. Oh, you're so tired. Uh, that's the most important part. So his muzzle to me is perfect. It's perfect length. It's also the breed where you really are not able to try this on. Um, but there's also those clients that come in with schnauzers and they don't like the beard. Mm -hmm. And we're like... So that's your opportunity to do it on those dogs. The ones that want to trim the beard, tell them, oh, I'll get all that hair off. Uh, it'll it'll be clean from the food and the water, and you make it sound as practical as possible, and they're going for it. And then if you mess it up, you know, if, if you did a really good job on making sure your your customer relations are good, then they're gonna stay with you. If you didn't do such a good job, you're gonna find the next crew. Uh, so with my trial and error, I have discovered. Some of you guys already know this. Um, but there's, there's steps, right? And if you follow these steps, it's going to create the perfect uh, pinpoints or dots, you know, connect the dots to create that face or get as close to that face as possible. And uh, the first one is the shorter the chin, the better the finish. The more hair on top of the muzzle, the better the finish. So if your dog has a shade, which so well, let's do that. Don't try it. Um, there's also different styles. There's Chinese, there's Japanese, and there's Korean and Indonesian style. Uh, the difference between the two is Indonesian, they have uh, pretty much straight cut. So when you look at it, it's kind of like a Dorito. You're looking at it like a triangle. And nothing's trimmed. It's just the shape. And then you have a Chinese, which is completely trimmed in Dorito, very small Dorito shape. And they do a really good job on that style. So when you look at one and it's got a Dorito shape, and you look at another one, Japanese, which is kind of like my style, I like a much more fuller finish as a Japanese style. It's more straight across, more rounded. Um, there's no right or wrong either. So it's just, it just depends on what you like better. Uh, so short of the chin, how do we know what the correct <coughs> length for the chin is? Five blade. Five blade. 
Everything on the bottom of the muzzle goes with the five blade. Hey, I know. It doesn't work. Good boy. Good boy. Don't cut my beard. All the way to the throat where your clipper stops. Uh, laws of makeup. Those who are taking, taking this class with me, I say laws of makeup so you don't forget it. So we all wear makeup or wear makeup at some point in our lives, except for me. <laughs> for you women out there. Um, uh, you, you put on lipstick, right? Mm -hmm. Lipstick. So kissable lip is the next step. He doesn't like it. I don't do it on him. He doesn't let me do it. I'm not going to have blood gushing on everybody today. So uh, only the width of the nose, a little bit of the bottom lip, and the top lip is what's shaved. You can do that with a 10, a 15, or a 30. Depending on the, if the dog is white, 10. If the dog is black, 30. So white skin, more sensitive, longer clipper. So I don't want to irritate it. Uh, the next step on your makeup, well not next step, doesn't matter what order, is your eyeliner. So some of us don't have to wear eyeliner, some of us do whatever, it doesn't matter, but you get the point. Eyeliner. So you grab your Rivera, 10 or 15. I know, buddy. You push everything back. You take the corner of your blade. And you just trim the bottom and the top of the eye. It's the focal point of this haircut are the eyes. So the same mm -hmm. with this side. Are you guys on the, did you guys see it? You take the corner of the clipper from corner of the eye to the inside of the eye. I know. Okay. That's it. That's it. Yeah, I like that. So he doesn't like anything. Um, <laughs> so you, you have the lipstick, you have your little whiskers, your little chin hair down here, which we take off with the five. This is in your notes, so when you go and you go, oh my god, what was the blade? It's in there. Uh, five, kissable lip, eyeliner. So we clean up the eye, clean up the chin, and we clean up the lips, which thing we're not going to do. And then we can start our process on how we get this shape that we're looking for. So we set the five. You guys see the nice hard line on each side? Mm -hmm. My curves or any curves. <laughs> this is the this is the you know the curve is what's gonna give you that first part of the muzzle. So you take that hard edge that you see here. That line that you started with the five, and then you just take the edge off right here. can see that? So now that hard edge is gone. Now the next step, it's always helped me learning it, so I teach it the same way. I don't do this anymore. Once it's stuck in your head, you'll find better, easier ways to do it. Uh, but to get, get this stuck in your head so you don't forget it, you use the curves to set, take the edge off the bottom, and then on the side, so it, it never sticks past the corner of the eye. So you use the corner of the eye as your landmark to come with your straights. To the corner of the eye and you take that edge off. Same with this side. So we're gonna come in right here. Yeah. I'm gonna find the corner of the eye and I'm gonna cut straight. Everybody got it? 
now I can finish my bottom. Before I go to the top, I have to finish my bottom. That's how I do it. If you find a better way. I'm pretty happy with that bottom. I'm gonna go crazy and make it perfect. And then now the next step is the sides. So the sides right here, this, if you grab your finger where the corner of the eye is and place it there, that's what I'm gonna pinch with my scissor. Are you guys on this side, the corner of the eye? I'm gonna pinch that on purpose with my scissor. I grab my curves, I flip them, and then I pinch right here where the eye is. So you're kind of blending, you know, the line that he had here? I'm, t I'm separating muzzle from cheek. Remember that. Separate the muzzle from the cheek. If I have to shave, I'm not going to shave the cheek because I have a specific style on him. And his, you know, I, I can shave his whole head and this will still say the same. What's better if you have volume on the back? Okay, buddy. If you have volume on the back or on top of the head, this always looks better. But if this is shaved, everything is shaved, this doesn't really look so good anymore. And the eyes don't pop out either. So we gotta make sure the eyes pop out. There has to be hair in order for the eyes to stick out. Right? Kind of weird, but that's how it works. So now I pinched the corner of the eyes. I got the bottom. Now I'm gonna go to the top. I'm gonna comb up. I'm not using any hairspray yet. And there's a reason behind it, because if I use hairspray to create the look, what happens when the hairspray and the product comes out? It falls away. It falls down, and then the dog looks completely retarded. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, it does not look any good. Like when the dog comes back in, you're like, oh, what happened to that dog? <laughs> That's usually why, because you styled it so much before you created the shape that when the styling product came out, and no longer it looks the same. So I like to do pretty much the shape that I'm looking for first, and then I can put product in and perfect it. So the top is almost straight, but I take my I take my curves or straight, it doesn't matter. And at a 30 degree angle, I come and only cut the back. He doesn't let me clip his face. Scissors. Uh, Batman's right here, man, is who? Robin. Robin. Robin wears a what? Cape. No, a mask. He wears a cape. That's the first one. <laughs> a mask, right? So we, we did the eyeliner. So we have to connect the eyeliner and just in the stop. You create your mask just like you would for those that know how to do a big show. It's the same concept. What is the focal point on a big show? Uh, yeah, same thing. But you can do this with a clipper. The same thing you did with the uh, eyes. You're just going to go right across and create a big distinctive mark. The more distinctive this is, the better you are. The more smoother and soft it is, the, you know, it's not as effective. So I want the top straighter than round. So I'm going to take the tips off straight. Get a nice little straight top. Now is when I grab the thinners, which is the biggest secret. That's how we create that super finished, nice look. Is by going over everything we did with the thinners.
guys can see. the face I'm going to go back over style it with some product which will be the Hydra hairspray and I'll get that ultimate finish that I'm looking for so I'm going to go to the eyebrows I'll show you a quick way how to do a schnauzer eyebrow without doing it and then I'm going to do what I want to do on this style so, uh, before you comb forward on the eyebrows you want to make an X X marks the spot right on the stop with your thinners you want to separate the eyebrow after you separate the eyebrow, you want to comb them forward. Before you put hairspray on it, you take your curves, you flip them. You find the corner of the eye and you cut. And it gives the perfect arch by flipping your curves. So same with this side. To the corner of the eye, cut. Make it to the perfect shape. Then you can spray some hairspray on it, kind of manipulate the hair, and then finish it so they don't stick out and wisp out. And you have those dogs that are <laughs> <laughs> so put the hairspray between your fingers and pull the hair so it can stay. And hopefully it doesn't shake his head twenty times <laughs> So with him, I want to get rid of his eyebrows, so I'm gonna scissor everything up. I know guys, it's okay. <laughs> And I'm gonna give them kind of like a round head. separate his head from the ears because I have a specific style I'm doing with him so the back of his head is going to be bigger than the front of his head. So you gotta put this forward. Uh, what does um, the dog do when Mommy or daddy comes to pick him up. He's excited. He's excited, shakes his head. Um, what else? He sticks his ears up, right? And then what happens when he sticks his ears up? The whole hair is off. Alright, so grab your hand, push. That's how you want to scissor the face. That's what mommy sees when mommy picks it up. So, and I hate looking at the dog. Going, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so to avoid that and avoid my, uh, what do you call it, uh, OCD, uh, I just get it done while I'm doing, while I'm doing the dog on the table. So his ears, instead of shaping the whole ear, because it's inside of 40, just the tip. Outside 10. Same with here. 
inside of 40, just the tip. Outside 10, just the tip. Like a Yorkie, yep. Yeah. It says one third, but you don't really want to do one third, that's too much. You want to do just the tip. And I grab my ear, I fan the hair out, I find the, the edge of my ear with my finger, so if I do cut something, it's my finger, not the ear. Okay? Boom. <laughs> I have a client that watches me the whole time. I'm always missing words. <laughs> but I have to enjoy it because we really are not crazy about those clients. Like, you know, that's the best way I can make the best out of it. It's just mess with it. We got rid of our engine though. You're driving me crazy. <laughs> uh, so I attempt to give him a little devil ear. Um, <laughs> oh, that's too cute. Interesting. Oh, yes. Hey, they all looking at me. Thank you. Oh, dog. I think it's best. Like the revolution of, of like groomers, kind of getting around. What do we see on you know, like all these hairstyles nowadays? There's like a super fine side, and then the other side's like, wow. but it looks so cool, right? Where it's it's really hard to kind of do the same with dogs. So less is more for me always. Always, the more you do, the more you accommodate your client to expect that. So the less you do, the better. So when you do take off too much, it's not that bad, or you're not used to it, or whatever. I like to leave some roughness to like all my dogs. I don't like the dog to look like it's been groomed. Kind of when I started before I started school, I thought every dog came out with the JJ like that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know there was no grooming. I thought I, I literally thought they were born like that. I saw a Springer Spaniel. I'm like, oh, that's cool. I want one. <laughs> you know, I never really thought there was grooming and all this stuff we had to learn about it so that's what kind of fascinated me and, and that's kind of like I still kind of go off about that I still want to look at a dog and be like like you know we want to think about grooming it's like that's a cool dog <laughs> you know because people really don't think what we're thinking I wonder who groomed that dog we catch ourselves talking like I wonder if that lady knows <laughs> He doesn't know, trust me. <laughs> so for me, I like to move the back of his head a little fluffy. Eventually I wanted to go over and going it out. And I'm grooming for the future. If we groom every dog towards the future, our result and ourselves feel better. Mm -hmm. We see a change. If you don't see a change, you're doing the same thing every day, it gets boring. Right? These seminars don't, we really don't need them anymore. Kind of gets to that point, you know? And uh, I'm a really strong believer in making sure, like, yeah, you know, yeah, there's, well, there's always found, something to do. There's different. always something to learn. So, just blend this in. <laughs> I'm gonna get like a little like one of those costume things or shit. 
be the one screaming. <laughs> <laughs> I think so everybody would. <laughs> 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 yeah, I cut a dog. I was on the stage, but he did it on purpose. <laughs> I don't know what's worse. Words or accident? I'm just going to turn the tips here. Yeah, this will come to the tips here. Yeah, let's do the seminar anymore. Yeah, then all the products will be out. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> It's much better. When I when I started testing the product, there was only a few things. And then all of a sudden they came with like a bunch of extra stuff. And then like they would give me something like, like oh, where can I get it? Oh, it's not out yet. When does it come out? So now I style, now I spray. Yeah. That won't hurt his eyes. No. I mean, as, as long as I'm not spraying in there. Natural thing we do. What do we do? Close your eyes. Same thing. Bob does the same thing. Okay, not my friend and I have a friend. You said what? You have a friend you can do that too? guys watch me do this you also have it in your notes mm -hmm. so there's no reason why you guys can't execute this uh, you don't have to be you just make it look so easy and you only have 15 minutes to do it now yeah right <laughs> you got 15 minutes <laughs> and you damn well better hope your dog stands still like that right? <laughs> <laughs> where's that CBD oil <laughs> there you go we got it we got it mm -hmm. <laughs> Where's that groomer's box? <laughs> 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 oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. So I'm not going to perfect it, but you see just an extra five or ten minutes and this space is absolutely, you know, beautiful. Joshua, can you repeat again when you, when you separate um, the, the, the mug here from the cheek? Yeah, so... You grab your curves and you flip them and you separate. You separate muzzle from cheek. Pinch it in there. I mean, to the center of. Uh... You can, you can. I didn't have to. There's really not much hair that I cut, but if that helps you understand it, there's some people that are able to kind of shape. All of this and still on the end up with the same one. Five eyeliner, lips, cheek, only if. You're like answering all the questions. Um, <laughs> uh, what, what is the best dog to do an Asian face on? She too. 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 She too
Nothing crazy. I'm not creating any illusions here. This is no trick. This is exactly what comes in your shop. And this is exactly what I learned through my experience. The clients love the most, which is teddy bear. Mm -hmm. So they want a round face. Mm -hmm. They want it short, but not too short. I hate puppy cuts, so I try to get away from that. If they want it short, not too short, What's that body is so puppy cut. <laughs> <laughs> uh, direct for those for those who went to ITA, the the, yeah. the, the no correct definition Thank is you. when the client says they want short but not too short, too short. which is anything yeah. above a four million. Two comb. So, I always say zero. Two comb or above zero comb, e comb. Oh. I like vomit, you know, so I don't, I don't like to let the client take control. Yeah, I had a client tell me, oh, puppy cut, she kept repeating, I said, excuse me, but there is no such thing. Yeah, so I, I try to avoid puppy cuts, and I try to, do, try to keep myself happy. So to keep myself happy, I try to do as many teddy bears as possible. So teddy bear is the same thing kind of like on a land trip for a pool. So you want to leave the legs full, the body's tight. Yeah. Usually, the tighter the body, the fuller the legs, the better the, the look. And then the round face, which I'm gonna infuse the Asian influence with the round face. You should have you some sleep. You should have 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 some all right. I do a lot of the good stuff. She's fine. I don't care. She'll let you do the lift too. Okay. Is she not yours? No, she's a customer. Oh, gee. So I'm going to take the four blade. I mean, seven blade. Seven. You're good. I've done the seven on the so I do the seven, I her, which is... I told her the free groove. She said, okay, you're fine. Right, you're going back. So I take the seven blade, and just like I showed you on the schnauzer, where the clipper tells you to stop, stop. Instead of stopping, you want to kind of fall off. I'm going to show you that technique of falling off, so you can do less scissor work when it's time to scissor. So. What the heck is that? <laughs> I go with the coat. The clipper's gonna tell you, hey buddy, don't keep going. The clipper's gonna tell you. So just use the weight of the clipper and fall off. <laughs> Okay, this is the only dog where I really don't care if it's long or short. So this whole type of thing I showed you really doesn't really matter. We want to get it done quick. Time is money. I'm scared of money, I don't make money, right? So I'm going with the direction of the code. I can go like this. No. Oh, all right, yeah, I got you on that one. That's an apron right there. That's a trick question, even though it's wrong. Here you go. I'm going to take all this off. Can I get a time? 244. 244? Wow. Yeah, right? Woo! <laughs> yeah, you got 15 minutes. Not really. For this dog, no, you're talking, we'll give you 20. Yes. I mean, you can. You have a two hours to grow a dog, and it's one of your favorite dogs. Yeah, like you're perfected, and you want to take a picture, and, you know. So if she would have had like more hair, would you have left it though, so it blends in, or is it because she has such short hair? It's just it more time. Like, um, this is like typical. A dog comes in, it looks like that. Sure, sure. Okay, let me do a thirty-minute haircut. So in my eyes, you can't do a thirty-minute haircut if you're thinking yeah, about balance and proportion. Now, same with the front. As soon as the clipper tells you to stop, stop. Yeah. 
And then the chest. I like to leave the chest. I don't like taking the chest off. Uh, so right at the breastbone, right where the clipper says stop, you're gonna kind of scoop off. Oh, there's one thing you really like to you get long eyelashes. You want to keep eyelashes, you need to I got you. That's my favorite. Eyelashes. Yeah, I need eyelashes. So we've been growing it out. It's not my favorite when you forget. The client cries. Grab those. Yes. <laughs> I took forever drawing those out. Actually, lady, I do. <laughs> <laughs> right? Right? That is the help I should have. I grew those eyebrows out. I should be the one mad. <laughs> Only problem with this haircut is it don't come in as often. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's the only problem. So be smart about who you do it to. Don't do it to the matted dogs that always matter. Unless they're always puppy cuts. And you want to stop doing puppy cuts. It's a little less work for you. So all you have to do is brush out the legs. <laughs> Same with the schnauzer. I, I try to do this with every face I do because the shorter the shorter the throat, the more the face pops out. So I take the same, you see the cowlick there, take the same blade and I go against the grain. Only in that spot. So you see the skin more, so it's even shorter. So full coats like this, uh, two cone, seven as a seven. I don't like to do a four because it leaves it too short. It actually makes it a little shorter. Millimeters? It doesn't say. Oh yeah, it does. Five, nine point five. And then two eighths of an inch. Now with that same two comb, this line, 
the skin off. I don't like the scissor. Oh, I mean, I love the scissor. You know what I mean? It's less time. Time is right? money, spare money, we'll make money, right? And then we want to create angulation. So you take the same two comb right on the back of the leg. So that same two comb I went against, I'm gonna go and fall off the side of the leg again. Right on the back of the leg, I'm gonna take it and go up. Take all this out. And what that does is create angulation. Mm -hmm. uh, my leg looks much better. It doesn't look like it got hit by a truck. <laughs> and then I'm going to go over my chest with the two comb. Go down the side of the legs. Get my blend. like the air got dropped back down again, right? Mm -hmm. It was blowing up very well. If you lift up right behind the elbow without cutting the flanks off. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Should I really shave the underpants? Yeah, it happens. Like, free groom, girl. What do you expect? <laughs> she wouldn't even have room. Oh, God. You're going to be in trouble. I told you, girl. Free groom. Yeah. Should I really shave underarms? No, you didn't. I, I don't like to. I, 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 I don't. It's, it, it's, if you do it, you do it with a tan blade, but it there's really no way of... Sometimes you can get away with shaving it without losing the shape of the leg yeah. and without seeing a big bald spot there. Mm -hmm. So it's, I just stay away from it, you know, depending on the length of the leg or whatever. It's, it's really up to you if you want to risk it. It's a, it's a risk for me. It's all I don't like, I just don't want like to stay in my comfort zone. <laughs> it's the perfect way. If you have too much hair and you do want to run the clipper down, run it down the back and the side, not the front. Because remember I showed you the dip? We always want to hide that dip. So the straighter you can get the leg, the better it looks. A lot of people struggle with the feet. You rather have a, a flat foot, perfectly round, or you try and like make it nice and smooth, and then it ends up looking like that. Uh huh. Right? Yeah. That's so a I, I call it a spaceship. That's my like, like little one. Star Trek. There you go. <laughs> that drives me crazy. How do I do that every time? You comb everything out. Grab your straight right in front of the toe. One straight line. One on the side of the foot. One straight line. And one on the side on the other side of the foot. I'll show you guys more. 
So now I got a box foot. Mm -hmm. I put the foot down, and now I can see exactly what needs to go. I take the hard edges off. So it's almost the same technique as the top knot? Yeah. Yeah, Kitty. That's right. Top knot for the feet. It's the same step as a top knot. Yeah, you know how to come up on the top knot? You come to one side, straight cut. Straight cut, forward, straight cut, straight cut. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll integrate that in the next one. Thanks. <laughs> Some more tea coming That's going to cost you <laughs> So now I can lift the foot up. Shake. After combing, I'm going to show you guys over here. Don't worry. And then I brush and dust with my thinner. So I dust it. Get that hard edge off. Whatever I missed, I can cut. Oh. Just stepping on it. So you got a nice round soft foot. 